Brandon from Toronto Mod Shop coming to you with uh, another video. This one's going to be a quick video. Basically the point of this video is I'm going to be explaining why I haven't been making videos for the past two months. The last video went up about October 7th. I uploaded a video earlier today with the Porsche 914. When it came to the RX-7 I haven't talked about it or mentioned it since then. So I'm basically just going to tell you guys the bad news. Which could be also be seen as good news, but mainly bad news. So I'm kind of tired, so I wrote down what I wanted to say. So just bear with me. Basically, the bad news is I'm selling the RX-7. I don't, I can't finish it. I'll explain that in a second. Basically, as you guys know, I'm in school. I'm not sure if you know, but I've mentioned it before. I'm in school studying motive power, which is studying to be a mechanic. And uh, basically starting next year, next spring, I'll be done school and available to work. I basically need a cheap and reliable, cheap to run, cheap to insure car. And the RX-7 isn't that. Basically I need the car, it's going to get me to job interviews, it's going to get me to work. And eventually when I get a job it'll get me to work after I graduate. Also I was going to sell the car anyways. I've mentioned that in the past, that this car was basically a learning experience, and yes, I did learn a lot of lessons with this car, building-wise. But I also learned some financial lessons with this car, which again, I'll mention in a second. So, like, I'm... Yes, I'm sad to see it go. Sorry, I'm shivering, it's freezing. It's like negative something here in Canada, if you guys didn't know. What was I saying? Yeah, basically, I was going to sell it anyway, so... I'm going to miss it, but... I'm not going to miss it, because I'm not a Mazda guy. I'm a... Nissan guy, also a Mitsubishi or Toyota. Basically, if I'm going to finish it, I'm going to lose money. Right now, selling it, I could break even. I could just break even. I have 1800 into the car, I could sell it for 1800 To finish the car, it's going to cost me a total of about four or 5000 and I'm not going to be able to make that back. I'll probably sell it for three or four. So, I'm eventually going to lose a grand if I finish it. I basically I found a guy. I posted it online. I'm shivering. Sorry guys. Uh, found a guy. He's gonna buy the car, well, the shell. He's gonna buy the SR20 fully disassembled. He's gonna buy the racing radiator that I bought at the flea market. And he's gonna buy the the straight through muffler because this car doesn't need to be uh, emissions tested. And this car is made to be loud. All right. All right. Basically, I'm just going to read what I have here. I don't want to sell it, but it's the best choice for my future. Yes, it will be embarrassing driving around in a G5, like a Pontiac G5, or a Neon, or a Civic, or an Accord, or a Tercel, or a Corolla, or basically anything that's cheap and reliable. Most of them are seen as uncool cars, but I'd rather look uncool for a year and then be driving around in something nice, like a 240, or a 300ZX, or a 350Z. Or a Celica or something. What was I going to say? Basically, by driving an unreliable, uncool car for the year, I'll be able to save a lot of money. And I'll be able to buy another project car next winter. Which is going to probably, probably 90% chance, going to be a 240. The other 10% is a mix of Celica, 300ZX, 350Zs, maybe an Evo 5. I don't know. We'll see. And by working the year, I'm going to have the money to finish it. That's the biggest mistake I made with this RX-7. Is I basically saw an RX-7 and I was like, oh my gosh, it's an RX-7, I'm going to buy it. And I basically spent all the money I had, which was $1,000 that I put into the car. Or, sorry, the $1,000 I bought the car for. And then I basically sat there, like, now what? I didn't have money to finish it, didn't have money to do anything. So as I got little bits of money, I threw them into the car. I'm 1800 in, and I still have, don't have a drivable car. And I don't see a future for this car, so I have to sell it. Yes, I will miss the RX-7, but this way I'll have a drivable car by the spring. So if I sell this, right now the guys, we agreed on, I think, 2400 for the shell, the SR, the radiator, and the muffler. And the sooner I get a drivable car, the sooner I can get to work and get to job interviews. And also I can visit my family and my friends, my friends are in Mississauga which is about a 
hour and a half drive if I'm lucky. Sometimes it takes three hours with traffic. But also I can visit my little brother and sister who are far away. They're in Etobicoke. If you're from Canada, you know where that is. If not, it's uh, about an hour away. But I can go visit them, which would be nice since they're my little brother and sister. I will still be making videos. Yes, there, you won't see the RX-7 anymore, except in the video I'm going to be doing later this week when I videotape it leaving, which is going to be sad, but for other reasons it's not going to be sad. Basically, I'm still going to be doing videos with the LS9, sorry, LS6 914, the Porsche, the orange one with the my buddy's race car. It's almost ready to start. If you guys watched the video I uploaded earlier today, you would have seen that we were trying to start it. Turning it over, turning it over, turning it over, not starting. Basically, we have no oil flow, like zero oil flow. It's sitting in the pan. It's not even going from the pan to the, pan to the filter. I have no idea. We don't know what it is. We tried uh, pre-lubing the system. Didn't work. We got oil pressure fine. Everything else is working fine. Just we have no flow. I'm thinking it's RTV because when we took off the sensor on the side of the oil pan, if you guys have worked with Corvettes, you'll know on the side of the bat pan which is the pan with the wings on the bottom, the lower pan. Beside the filter, there's a sensor, which is a temperature sensor. That sensor, we, when we pulled it off, the whole inside was all gummed up with our TV. So I'm really hoping, and I'm sure Al's hoping the same thing, we're hoping that there's no RTV in, in the galleries of the engine. Because then the engine's kind of garbage. So, hopefully not. Also, I'm going to be making videos, hopefully, with my, my buddy Kyle from Mississauga, guy I went to high school with. He just got a, well, not just got, a few months ago, he got a nice white Honda Prelude coupe, manual. He drove a black automatic one for a while, but he finally joined the manual life. Congratulations, Kyle, for joining the club. Basically, I'm trying to convince him to let me touch that car. Let me do the, I don't know, dip, dip or paint the wheels, install the lip kit. Put spacers, something, maybe wrap some interior pieces, I don't know. Basically something I can do that I could make a video of. When that car's done, and whenever I work on it, if I do, I'll make videos of that for sure. Also, I'm going to be doing a few small things to the reliable car that I get. If I get neon or something, I'm going to end up getting maybe a lip, eyelids, plastic dip the emblems, rims. If it's manual, which I'm hoping it's going to be manual. Really hoping. I don't know, we'll see what I can find. But the point is, if it's manual, then I'll do an exhaust system and an intake on it. But little things. And a sound system, obviously. I love music. If you, if you know me, you know I love music. Basically, if I save as much as possible and get a decent job, I may be able to get the next project car in the summer or the fall instead of next winter. Like, if it's June or, I don't know, August or something, and I find a really, really nice 240. Me, personally, my favorite 240 would have to be the... The Zenki 240, the 95, 96, S14 240. If I could find a nice one of those, maybe a green one. Not lime green, but like a forest green. If I have the money, I'm going to buy it. Stick it in my grandparents' garage. And then what I'll do is I'll accumulate parts from the time I buy the car till when I decide to start building the car. That way I'll have a heap of parts and I can just make a lot of videos and put them out once a week or... I don't know, it's two a week. I don't know, we'll figure that out when we get to that. Just looking positively at the future. Basically, I guess it's time to sign off. I just wanted to say thanks to my parents for letting me take up their garage. They're, they drive a Pontiac Vibe. If you guys own Pontiac Vibes or Matrixes, sorry to Matrix, you know it's the same car. You'll know that if any water... Sorry. Camera's in the steering wheel, so I just bumped it. Basically, if you guys have that car, you'll know that the motor for the air conditioning is under the dash, and sometimes water will seep in from under the hood and sit on top of it, and then those motors are very easily damaged. I think last winter we went through two or three motors because the car was outside, and since the RX-7 is in the garage, they have to park outside this winter. Thankfully, there hasn't been much big snowfalls. So this car should be gone by the end of the week and then they can start parking in the garage again. So I'm sure they're happy about that. I also want to say thank you to my family and friends that have been supportive with this car and telling me to not give up on it even though I kind of have. 
whatever. I guess they'll be happy once I'm driving a proper car and I can go see them. So that's good. I guess uh, I'm gonna say bye now. I guess I'll see you guys all soon. And hopefully we'll have some nice cars in the videos. Alright, thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys soon.